All right, this is Mike Ercity with RKU Distributing. Uh, today we're looking at a California Department of Fish and Wildlife um, RV project. This is a Gray Wolf 26 DBH. I wanna just kind of give a quick look at it from the side. We're gonna do a walkthrough this morning. And today is the, uh, I don't know if I said it, but it's already, it's the 16th, Sunday the 16th, uh, October 16, 2022. We're gonna start right now with a walkthrough. Go ahead. All right, so right here is gonna be your tone jack. You can raise it up and go down, and you wanna hook it up with a trailer. And then also you have lights for nighttime when you back up, you can see the hitch. All right, this trailer comes with 215 uh, bolt. So when you wanna hook it up, lock it, hook it up and lock it again. Two and five sixteenths. Two and five sixteenths, yep. yep. yeah. All right, this one is gonna be your seven way plugs which is that one goes to your truck. You can control your brake, your light, your signal. Also, you can charge your battery while you're hooking up to the train. All right? Yep. Right here, you got two safety chains, goes to your truck. And then breakaway also goes to your truck, it's right here. It's like emergency brake, anything happened, this one's gonna disconnect from the tra uh, trailer and then lock the brakes for you, all right? Right here, you got two five gallons of propane tank, and then also you have a regulator. You can switch from this side, which is usually a little point right here. You can switch from this tank to this tank. So go ahead and show how you do that. Just yeah, one is going to be this side. If you want it okay. on this tank, you flip it. All right, so let's talk about that real quick. Do you run typically one tank at a time? Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Why is that? Well, you know which one is going to be empty, which one is going to be full. Correct. So, you know? Because if you ran both of them at the same yeah, time, you, then you you're know. out. When yeah. you're out, you're out. Exactly. Totally out. Yeah. So never run them both yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Or later on, you can buy a regulator. You can see how much you have or how yeah. much you have. Yep. All right. And then right here, you got uh, 12 volt batteries. This one, you can run all the light and it's light, except uh, you can run the AC and uh, microwave. You okay. have to be plugged in. Okay. All right. Yep. Here's the bin, by the way, on this particular one. There's two of these. Yeah. There is one here. Yeah. All right. You have storage. Plus. Okay. We'll go from the other side so we check it out. Yep. And it actually goes up in there, too. Yeah. All right. You have uh, stabilizers, two in the front, two in the back. All right, right here, what you need here, you need some blocks put underneath them. Yep. All right. And then slides in and out, it's going to be the switches inside. I'll show you how to, uh, how to operate it. Okay. All right. And this unit comes with a 30 amp service, which is going to be this one. And then you have outside shower, which is this one. Which right, this is. So now the key is going to be this one. Right. And you have outside shower, which is hot and cold water. All right. Okay. And then right here is going to be your fresh water tank. When you okay. fill up the tank. And then right here is going to be your city water hookups which is, is going to be your city water full hookups so let's go over that yeah. i mean and just if you don't if you've never had an rv before yeah. i want to talk about when you'd use that right there yeah. okay so when would you use this one right here the fresh water connection when you use it when you go dry camping there's no full hookups which is you're going to use your own tank correct all right yep and then this one's going to be your full hookups which is right. from the city water connection yep. yeah you uh, just pop it up. and yep. then and then is there anything else that you'd recommend if you were just hooking that up straight away to some place that you didn't know what the pressure was? Yeah, you need a regulator, like right. 40 to 50 PSI. Okay. So, cause some places they have like 120, 150 PSI. Right, right. You, you don't want to do that. So just yep. get you the regulator, 40 to 50 PSI. Yep. I'll show it to you, okay. we have it in the parts. Yep. All right. Yep. And okay. then also you can add the filter, outside filter. So Correct. you do a regulator, filter, and then the hose. Yep. All right. Right here we got a little storage. Okay. And then this one's gonna be your water 
water here, which is electric and propane. Okay, let's see how right now we full hook up to the electric. You come here, you turn it on and off. You see the switch? Okay, let me get right that there. Yeah. So if I want hot water, what do I got to do? Yeah, there's two options, which is you can run it propane or you can run it on the electric. Okay. Yeah, you just turn it on and then you wait like 10 to 15 minutes until the water is get hot. Right when I'm plugged in. Yeah, when I'm plugged in. Yeah. Let's say you go dry camping, there is no full hookups, you're going to use propane. Yes. I'll show you the switch, it's going to be inside. Okay. All Got right. It. Yep. And then be careful here, it gets hot, so make sure no one touches you. Yep. Right here, you can use it as storage too for your sewer hose. You just pop it open and shovel the sewer hose right here. All right. All right. Okay. All right. And then also, this one it comes with a backup camera. There is an app you can download it on your phone. I'll show it to you. Okay. And then All right. you do that process from there. Okay. All right, this one comes with the backup uh, spare tire too. Okay. Spare tire with cover, full size. Yeah. Yep. Right new. Okay. All right. Then what about this tray? Yeah, this tray you can bring it down like that. You just open that one. Okay. Just pull that. Yeah, you just you'd pull, pull both sides. Both sides. And so the process is you'd pull both sides, pull that one and that one. Exactly. It's got a it's got a double safety yeah. um, on there, and then can you um, can you take this down the road with that down? No. Okay. No. So you keep it off. Yeah. Yep. So you want to actually that you can use that though for storage for if you're storage, parked in a long exactly. if you're parked in an area where you're going to keep it for a while, you can lay that down and yeah. that's some extra storage. Yeah. Okay. You have dog leads here, and then also you have the stabilizers right here, which is two in the front and the back. Yep. Alright. Okay. Stairs. Okay. Alright, we'll go from the inside to this one. And then also the door has screen doors. And then also we have the second door. Okay, while we're looking at that door, let's open that door up again. So I wanna I have my screen door that's closed. Now it's time to lock the place up from the inside. What what's something I really want to do? Well, you see the red button right here? Yeah. Yeah, you can just flip it. This is your dead bolt. Got it. That's okay. it. All right. On, on. Yep. And then can you use that with the key on the outside? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Absolutely. You can. All right. Yeah. We'll try the keys before. I'm okay. Gonna... Yep. So, uh, okay. So that actually looks a lot more private than it, it, it's a lot more private than it looks. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right, Ani. With the LED lights, which is inside, I'll show you how, how to operate it. Okay. And then also you have two speakers in the outside, so which is inside, I'll show you how to do zone A and zone B. All right, mm -hmm. also you have TV mounting. If you want to mount a TV in the outside, you can operate here. Of course, you have cable connection right, right here, and then also you have outlet 210. Okay. Okay, right. outside, yeah. Outside too. So if you had cable, you could put up a TV. Exactly. Run that cable to there. Exactly. Run a little jumper from your TV yeah. from there to there. Okay, exactly. all right. And then what about this? This one is gonna be vent for your kitchen. Okay, one one question. What should we do if we're cooking? Yeah, you, you can just that. pop this one open. Yep. And then there's a vent over there. You can just turn it oh, on. Sorry about that. I yeah. didn't get that again. Sorry see, about that. You see this one? Yep. It's open from Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. close. Got it. Okay. Uh -huh. Alright, furnace exhaust heater. It's gonna be this one here. When mm -hmm. you have the furnace on, this is the exhaust. Be careful too, it gets hella hot. Mm -hmm. There's a warning sticker on it too. Okay. Alright. There you go. Right here you have a little fridge. This All one right. this one works on 110, so you have to be plugged in. Okay, mm -hmm. this works as 110 and then there's a refrigerator inside plus this, correct? Yeah. So you can put your drinks or whatever you want out exactly. here. Yeah. And then what do we have here? This one is gonna be your ice maker. Yep. Yeah, you just out water here and press this button and then we're ready All right, to go. off it goes. Yeah. What's the white, what's the white hose? This one also you have outside shower. Okay. 
Okay. So you have two outside shower. One is going to be yep. on the other side and one on this side. All right. Same thing. Just Got open it. one. Yep. Yep. We, we put some water in the unit to test it out. Sure. But before you guys pick it up, I'll, I'll take all the water out. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Right now we're using the pre fresh water tank. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. This one's gonna be your grill. Now, does that have a release at all? This piece. This one? Yeah. Like when it comes out. Yeah. It locks here. Oh, it locks. It locks here. Yeah. Okay, so that, oh, I'm sorry, it locks right here. Yeah. Then do you have to release it when you want to, when you put it back in, you have to release it? Yeah, you gotta just. And then it once, once it goes all the way in, does it lock automatically it locks, or no? It locks automatically. And then how did you end up un, unlatching it once oh, it was in? This one? No. Oh, it's so, latch? Yeah. Yeah, you just. So there it goes. It. Now it's all the way in. Let's all push way. it all the way in. Okay, now does it stay in or is it staying because of the door? Yeah, it's staying in. Because of the door, there's no, there's no, there's no latch. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Got okay, so it comes out, comes latches, out, and then you have this uh, quick connection right yep. here. You're gonna, you, if you go down right there, you're gonna see it's how to open yep. up. It's gonna be Good. done there. Okay, all right, and that'll run right off of your propane tank, exactly. right? Yeah, got it. Or you can run a little extra tank if you okay. want to. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, pretty easy. It's actually really ideal. Yeah. All right. Pretty nice, and then yeah. and awning over here, here. Yeah, and last there. on the other side here. Yeah. What's this here? This one's gonna be a little table. Uh, the, this one comes. Oh, that's a top griddle. Yeah, top griddle. Okay, yeah. so I got it. Yeah. Yep. All right. So this is gonna be your solar panel charger. It shows you how much it charge. Mm -hmm. Is there a, is there an outside? Is there an outside jack for that solar, or is that the only one right there? It's all in one corner. Okay, yeah. right here. So if you're going to run a panel, mm -hmm. you can hook it up right in here. Exactly. Correct? Yeah. All right. This unit already has a panel. On the top. Uh, does it have a panel? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's pretty deluxe. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, yep. So that that completes the outside. Let's take a look inside and yeah. see what we got. Go ahead. Sure. The AC's on. Yeah. Thank you. All right. If you want to start from this uh, controller, I'll show you. Yes. Yeah. So this one is going to be your control panel, which is shows you how much fresh water, uh, fresh water tank do you have, black tank and gray tank and battery levels. Mm -hmm. So fresh water tank is going to be your your tank, and then black tank is going to be your toilet, and then gray tank is going to be your soapy water and your shower. Correct. All right. Yep. So when you see it's full, you got to go dump the station and dump it out. Mm -hmm. All right, right here, you got awning lights, which is these ones. Mm -hmm. and now it's out. outside awning light. Yeah, and then also these lights right here. So it's the same button. The blue lights. Oh, I see. see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then outside one. Okay. Exterior light is going to be there is this uh, light on, uh, by the sewer hoses over there. Yeah. Yeah. So from here. External lights. Yeah. And then living, which is these ones too. Okay, so that's the. Right and there. then also these are push buttons. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, got right. it. And then, and then water heater. You remember the outset we have it for uh, electric? Yes. And this one is gonna be for propane. Okay, got All it. Right? Mm -hmm. So if you have full hookups, you don't wanna use your propane. You just Correct. go electric. Yep. If you go dry camping, there is no full hookups. You just go propane. Okay. And then here's the water pump for water. dry camping. Also, can exactly. you explain that a little bit? Yeah. Water pump. You use it when you use your fresh water tank. Yeah. But if you have full city water hookups, you don't need it because right. city water has a pressure. That's right. So you just take it off. Yep. All right. Okay. Got it. All right. Awning, which is on, awning is going to be the outside awning. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything gets clear before yep. you operate it. Okay. And then this stripe, which is extend. It's going to open. It's just going to open. Yep. Got it. And then okay. you can stop whenever you want. You sure. Know? And then... Okay, so now we decided, all right, that's enough of that awning. It's getting windy. Yeah. Let's push it back in. Push it back in. You see the retract or we just retract it? Retract. Got you it. You see it's going back in. Yep.
So you got to hold that button in the whole time. Exactly. Actually, it's not yeah. automatic. Yeah, it's not. Okay. All right. And then the other switch is going to be for this light, which is this one, in and out. Yep. So this is one thing you want to make sure is let's. I want to show you pushing that. You have to keep that in all the time to bring the slide in, but you also want to make sure that all of this here is clear. Believe me, that's that's really important. This comes in quite a bit. Okay. All right. And then when you push out, you're gonna go out there. Also make sure it's clear and outside or before you open it. Because you know, sometimes you, there's a tree post right. or something. One thing that you should do probably is, if it were me, and this is what I've done, is measure that whole slide from the body of the of the RV and you know how far that thing goes out so that the next time that you pull up to some place, you can just measure the distance of the RV to whatever object it is and then you know whether or not to park it right there, if that makes right. sense. Yeah. Yep. And then also this unit it comes with a Bluetooth, which is if you download the app, you can control it from your ta uh, phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you see the blue Bluetooth yeah. is button? Yeah. Since you download the app, they're going to uh, give you some options to yep. add on the yep. info, and then you're good to go. Right, right. So let's say if you want to open the slide, if you want to turn on the water heater, or if you want to do the awning, also you can use it from your phone. Okay. Right? Yep. So you gotta pair it first yeah, and then it works. Pair. Yep. Yeah. Download okay. the app first and then you gotta pair it. Yep. All okay, right. so what do you want to talk about next? Now radio. This one it's a Bluetooth, also has a HDMI connection and then USB. Okay. Alright? So let's try the You have zone one, which is here, and then you have zone two, it's gonna be all cut. Okay, so the same, can you run both of them? Yeah, inside and out. One, two. Okay, oh, got it. On. Right. Probably not my style of music, but yeah, it works. Too. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, all right, yeah, and then right here we have a uh, TV if you want to mount the TV. Yep, this is the uh, bracket, it's gonna be exactly right here, right? Right, right, I right. got you. Studs yeah. right there, yep. yeah, you have studs right here, and then also you have a uh, TV cable mm -hmm. booster on off. Mm -hmm. oh, we'll, get we'll get that, we'll get that, we'll get that. All right, and then also you There's have your outlet, 110 mm -hmm. outlet. Okay, this okay. one if you want to add a router. For Wi-Fi, right? We can install it to our. Right I see. Yeah. Okay, got it. All right. Okay. Cabinet. Storage. Storage. Yep. And then right here is gonna be your fireplace. Little fireplace. Yeah. And this one works electric. Let's say if you have full hookups, you don't want to use a furnace on a propane. Yeah. You just go electric. Got it. All right. Mm -hmm. And then also change colors. And then. This is your temperature, which is high now. Mm -hmm. So it's like an electric heater fan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Or you, you want to just keep it for looks, it's going to be just... Yeah. Right. All right. This is high. Mm -hmm. And this is low. Okay. Well, let's go with that. Yep. High. Yep. Zero. And low. Yep. I can feel the heat from yeah. here. <laughs> and then also you can set up your temperature, you see? You can yeah. go higher or more. Okay. And then the other one is going to be on now. Oh, and this one is going to be timed. Okay. You see? Yeah, yeah. So you have eight hours max. Right. Uh -huh. And then on now it's going to be from here. Okay. All right, that's pretty easy. Yeah. All right. So, oh, uh, and then while we're on this subject, I don't want to go through, we'll catch up with that heater, the main heater. Yeah, yeah. First. We'll, we'll go that. right now. Yeah, yeah. okay. Since we're talking about heaters, exactly. there's also a heater here. Yeah, there's also a heater here. This mm -hmm. this controller, you can also control your AC or your heater. You see right here, the big points. Mm -hmm. High, low, auto, and then you go heat. Okay. So this one's going to turn off right now. Yep. The heater is going to kick in. I got you. And then it has a register somewhere. 
Yeah. yeah. Kicks out heat. Yeah. Okay. And then that um, one thing about this, and it's probably the same, I'm guessing, yeah. is, is that here, if you're running, um, you can switch that from coming out air, air uh, the air, cold air coming out of here to here, which is throughout the whole uh, coach by just moving this right here. So in case somebody hasn't ever been around these, that's important to know both sides. That actually corrects all the air. So, okay, so I didn't want to interrupt you, but I wanted to kind of all stay right. on that whole heater thing. Yeah. All right, so here we are, sink. Okay. Is that magnetic or no? What's one gone? Yeah. Or no, it just goes yeah, in. That's a spray. In, I, got, I got a spray. Yeah. Yep. And soap dispenser. Mm -hmm. Soap dispenser. You yep. can fill it up from here. Which yeah. is going to be down here somewhere. Somewhere in there. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. So, and then, and then this covers the sink. And you want to make, I, I think you will probably want to have that on there for transport. Mm -hmm. When you're transporting that out, it be all clean. Tighten it up. Yep. Okay. And that's magnetic. Mm -hmm. So you can transport that right there like yeah. that. Yep. That's good. Yep. Alright. You have lights, which is this one. Okay. And then also you have a fan. Right. And then this is the uh, back side of the uh, vent that's outside. So you never want to really cook. You don't want to go down the road with that thing open and you don't want to cook with it closed. So that's part of your um, routine. You should have that open when you park. Okay. Stove. Yeah, water. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Stove. Right here we have three burners and this one's gonna be for your oven. Mm -hmm. So you do gas first and then igniter. You okay. see? Got gas, it. igniter. Gas, and igniter. Yep. All right. And this one is gonna be for your oven. What's okay. right on to? On this one, you see the little point here? Yeah. You just press it like for 15 to 20 seconds. Yeah. And then you do ignite again. Okay. That's right. Because they're brand new right now. So yeah, it could have some air. Yeah. There you go. You see the lights up? Let's see. The little point's on. So there. So let's go over that again. That flame, let's turn it to there. Yeah, we can turn it off because we don't have to get it going again. But mm. this right here to light, this is important because every one of them is different. This right here is a pilot light. So you want to hold that to there and push that in. Hold it in while you're igniting and then hold it in 10, 20 seconds and then let it off and then it'll go. Yeah. So what happens is, the reason this is, this is important. The reason that is, is that that little flame, it really is where that's at. There's a little probe under there that has to stay warm enough and say to the gas, it's fine to keep the gas going. If that thing doesn't heat up, that gas never comes through. So while it's technical, you can call or look that up, but that is important how that works. You gotta push that, hold it in, light it, keep it holding in, and then turn it to whatever temperature you want. Just like that, okay. I hope that made sense. Yep. While it's on. So, and so then, and then, you turn on the, then it goes, there it goes. So, okay, we got it on film. So, all right. And then always, when you travel, make sure this one is down. Okay. So, you know, when you drive, it's going to be movement. Yep. It's going to break, so just lock it. Okay. So then that locks down, if you notice. Mm -hmm. That's not just set down there, that's locked down. Mm -hmm. okay. Pretty big fridge, freezer, I mean, and a pretty good size refrigerator. This is a bracket for the outside. Okay, well, if you want all right. To TV outside. Yep, yep. This is a bracket. This is the keys, it's gonna be right here. Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. And that's the rest of the paperwork. The rest of the paperwork. Yeah, remote control. Remote all control of this stuff. is going to be for the radio. Yeah. And 
this one's gonna be for the radio. Oh, this one's gonna be for a fireplace. Okay. Yeah. All right. And the rest of the paper works gonna do. You got it. All right. Yep. Now, when we close this, if you look, this isn't closed yet. So it's just sitting here, but it looks closed. Mm -hmm. So if we're gonna transport it, we're gonna either push this in, close it, same with this. If you're gonna open this up, the best way to do is to push this button. So if you take a look, and then when you go down, always go down a road like that, ready to go. Okay, what do down, we got here? Down here is gonna be your fuse box and your breakers. Mm -hmm. They're all labels right here. Okay. And then fuse box is going to be all your fuses right here. All right, I recommend to have the surge protector on it because you know, sometimes you have short, mm -hmm. you have high voltage, low voltage, so you protect your unit. Yes, all right. And then right here is going to be your battery disconnect, which is this one. Keep it on while you're using it, mm -hmm. but if you store that unit for two or three months, you just shut it out so it won't drain the battery. Got it. All right. Mm -hmm. That's a, nice, that's a nice feature. Oh, yeah. So you can see that battery disconnect all the time. Yeah. Okay, got it. All right. Yeah, let's say right now, if you if you shut it off, your solar panel won't charge your battery. Right. While you're hooking up, won't charge your battery. Okay. So your units basically charge three ways, which is from your uh, solar panel while you're hooking up to the vehicle. Yeah. And then also when you have full hookups. All right, so keep it on while you're using it. Yep. Unless if you want to storage it, you just turn it on. Yeah, yep. Right. Okay, pantry. Pantry. It's a pretty good size. Mm -hmm. It's really good size, actually. Oh, wow. Really yeah. good size. For this size trailer, it's really big. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go. Okay, bathroom. bathroom. So that's the outside door that we showed earlier. That's a pretty good size sink. And then toilet and um, stand up shower. So that's all pretty self explanatory, although you might want to talk about what you want to put in it yeah. while you're going along and maybe what type of toilet paper and all that stuff. Yeah. Probably this, should talk about yeah, that. Yeah, this one you have to use the chemicals, you know, to smell good, clean all the pipe all the time. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, there's a pile over here. Right. And then also you need to use a special toilet paper so right. it won't be plugged. Correct. All right. So RV, RV toilet paper RV. and um, some of those uh, little uh, packages I like to throw down there. I also throw some Downey's fabric softener down there sometimes too, a little bit. Especially if you're going to be towing it down the road. Just kind of keeps everything clean, and not yeah, sticking. Yeah. What about that shower? Yeah, shower, sorry. Shower comes with the handle. Okay. Yep. Okay. See right now we have hot water. Put that turn on the right. Okay. okay. The steam is coming. Yep. It's not unlimited water. You, you know, it's um. But if you're pretty efficient, you can get a shower in total. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. And then this is an all-weather floor yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. So, and then how much, if you can tell, it looks like, I just wanted to point this out. Everybody asks about that outside. It looks like they're, it's got a clear cover right into the toilet area, but if you notice, it doesn't. Yeah, just it See how it goes right to the outside. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, what do we got here? Bunks. Yeah, you got two bunks right here, mm -hmm. and then also you have lights over there on the top. It's push button lights, mm -hmm. 
And then on this side, you got a USB charge, which is if you want to charge your phone, your yeah. tablet, whatever. Okay, got and it. Down. Also down, down, down. Same thing, you have push button lights, which is going to be on this side. That's push right. button light and USB. Okay. And then USB also on the side. Yep. Right. And you got a little privacy a little, window. A little privacy window. And then here's a ladder. Yeah, I remember if that ladder comes out, yeah. comes out a little bit. Yeah. But make sure the ladder is in before you do the sliding. Oh yeah. Because, you know, some people they leave it on, and then when you close let's go the over slide, that again. Yeah, that kind of goes back to what we said about making sure you you know before you ever touch that button you should look, and that's this is a real good example here because this slider will take that will take that that step out, and then instead if you bring it in, now you're good to go. Exactly. Any of that stuff though has to be in. Okay, all right. What is storage? You got storage yeah, here? Storage, right. It's pretty deep, yeah, full, it's full length. Deep. Yeah. On this one, you gotta lift and put it back. Okay. See? So got there it. is a latch underneath it while we're sure. driving. Yeah. So you just lift it a little bit. Yep. Okay. And then this, we don't have to break this down, but just explain the process on this table. Yeah, Pick it straight up. Yeah, you just. Pick it up straight up, take the poles out, and then this one goes down here, mm -hmm. up on the edges. Yep. And then also you can put these in the middle, it comes like full size bit. Right. So then, yeah, we take off these cushions, exactly. we, we knock those down, but yeah. that, we just take those back and then that becomes a full yeah. size bit. Okay. And then the All second right. doors too. Same thing. Okay. Just pick up. All right. Also, this one you can turn it to the bed. Let's do it real quick. Just take this one out. Okay. And then you just pick it up. Oh, no. Got it. Okay, that's pretty easy. Very easy. Yeah. All right. And then it goes right back, and then there's a little bit of storage under there. Yeah. Not much, but there's some. Yeah. There's definitely some. Okay. Then does this go back? Or no, it stays here. Yeah, it stays, it stays here. here. Okay. It stays here. Got it. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Yeah. Windows comes with that. Lights. Okay. So they're day and night. So if right. you want to just keep it black. I um, see. Um, you can let a little bit yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, okay. Also, oh, same on, same thing on the other side. Too. So then, there is an emergency exit here. Yeah. It is right there. Yeah. I want to just point that out in case we forget it. Yeah, it's right here. So okay. in case something happens, you just pull and push. Yep. And then take the screen out. Yep. All Got right. it. Got it. Yep. That way you can get out if you have to. Yeah. And then also you have 110 out there right here. Mm -hmm. USBs. Got it. All right. And also you have privacy window cover okay storage storage it's pretty good mm -hmm. let me go on this side also you have storage on that side too same thing same thing here with my lights okay same here same here yeah storage okay usb and yep, yep. Does, it, does this bed flip up? Yeah, let me see. Yeah. Storage under there. Oh, so yeah, it's storage, yeah. Okay, so I see how that, yeah, mm -hmm. I see. Yep. And then these curtains come down. Also, there's two doors on both sides, so you can close it. There's oh, yeah. A, there is a latch. Yeah. So open the latch, and then you can close it. Yeah, so there's a privacy door right there. Uh, see, here it is right here. Okay. All right, so you can close that yeah. off and have privacy here. So that's pretty good. No. Okay. Okay, what else we got? 
I think that's pretty much it. If there's any questions, um, you can call me, RKU Distributing Mike, 530-510-3797. I want to thank Best RV and Maurice. You did a great job, and I appreciate everything that you did. Say thank you very much, and um, and I, um, I, if there's any questions or any problems, we can get that taken care of. Thank you. Okay, one thing we kind of forgot to go over and I want to add to it is this is your sewer connections right here. This big pipe is black water and these smaller ones are gray. Gray is shower and dishes. Black is stuff that goes in the toilet. When you're draining these, you pull those up, and pull that up and you pull this other one up, that one there. The black one pulls up first. When it's done, then you follow up with the gray and the gray and then if you do yourself a favor, there's all kinds of people that do all kinds of different ways, but run a hose in here, keep all of that open, and then just run it out and flush it out. That's just a tip, but always remember black first, gray, and gray.